Oh, hey. Oh, hi. You want to do a mailbag? Uh, looks like you've got some stuff, yeah. I do. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got from uh, <clears throat> Tiffany Wynn from North Brunswick, New Jersey. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I did the thing where I ripped the note as I'm opening the thing. I'll open those later. All right, Tiffany says, Dan and Drew. It's you. Oh, Look at him. Hey. There he is. Hi. Hi. Uh, having watched Giant Bomb Quick Looks for some time, I missed out on all the premium content until my husband signed up recently to get access to Metal Gear Scanlon. I've seen bits of each Metal Gear game over the years, but I've never had the opportunity to sit through and watch the storyline unfolding in full. So it's been a new and enjoyable slash confusing experience for me, too. Catching up over the festive period on some of the other premium content in recent months has been awesome, and the Mario Party series is particularly fantastic. Can't wait for more of those. So in honor of Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Scanlon, please find enclosed a little something to say thanks for the many, many hours of entertainment. Looking forward to Metal Gear Scanlon 3. Uh, this thing says it's from uh, Debbie in the UK, oh. not uh, whatever the envelope said. So thank you, Debbie. I think Jeff's going to cut you. Oh, good lord. Oh, he's got his knife. That's not as scary as the other knives you've got. Yeah, no, but this one does the job. Oh, the scorpion with a K, is that what the other one is? Uh, yeah, there's the, the dagger. This one just says greedy on it, which is a little less frightening. That's a company that has big booths at shows I go to, and I don't know what they do. They... It yeah. has something to do with mobile or free mobile to Mobile achievements. Or something. They, and then other... I, they built, I don't know, something. Cloud? <laughs> yeah, they're in the cloud. All right, Drew. Canadian. Yeah. I'll let you pick one. This is addressed to both of us. Which one do you want? Let's see what we got here. Oh. Metal Gear Scanlon shot glasses. Can you see that? I can. All right, a little snake silhouette on the other side. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank from, you so from, much. Okay, from, from my time watching grocery haul videos and makeup tutorials and stuff, there's a very specific way to hold things up to a camera when you need a camera to focus on it and just put your hand <laughs> behind it like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> You can actually learn stuff from those videos. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Hmm. Is this helping? Nope. All right. Well, when you're using a shitty autofocus camera, that's <laughs> that how works you get better. it to focus. But oh, in, honor, okay. yeah. in honor of grocery hauls, I'm just going to open up 18 bags of chips next. Oh, I hope so. Oh, that would be nice. All right. This is from uh, R. Wong in Flushing, New York. Ah, good Lord. Get through our system there. In flushing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go on. What else? That's it. That's it? Oh, yep. Shit. All right. Oh, what? you're flushing the like yeah, toilet. Toilet. I see. Yeah. I think this might be my kind of shirt. It is. Oh, oh it's a Call Me the Breeze Skinner shirt. <laughs> that is right up my goddamn alley. Look at that. You don't have that one already? No. <laughs> you don't have the full run? No, I have a lot of Skinner shirts, but I don't have a fucking bald eagle riding a motorcycle. That's pretty sweet. That's Does a bald eagle, you know, I mean, it doesn't look like he's riding the motorcycle. It looks like he's just kind of holding on to the handlebar. It's got his talons on there. Yeah, it's going. But he also looks like he's flying. Well, you call him the breeze, as, he, as the shirt says. Okay. Yeah. Good song. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm, I call that awesome. This is, uh, this is in the rotation for sure now. That's great. All right, this uh, this is a mystery box. This does not say who it's from at all. <coughs> It'll probably be fine. This will probably take me 45 minutes to open, so do one of you guys want to take over while I'm doing this? We have the yeah. green knife. Yeah. Oh, we do have the green yeah, knife. Yeah, I mean, I can... I can hand you this knife. Okay. I've heard that I'm not good at uh, knife skills, which I'm always afraid if I'm going to do a thing and then it's just going to close on my fingers and yeah. cut my fingers off, no. so... That's not what I'm worried about. It's oh more God. that you're cutting towards your penis. Stop it. Oh, ah, I'm better proof. He's wearing pants. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can't cut through pants. Not with that knife, actually. I mean, not, not You've easily. You've tried. Yeah, all the time. There's a bunch of discs. Actually, I did have to cut that pair of pants for Game of the Year. Last, not, not last year, but the year before. Yeah. And we had to, I had to use a knife for that. And I might oh. have actually used part of this. What is... Hard Day's Night, Miramax Collector Series on DVD. Okay. Nice. Beatles movie. Buffalo 66. Mm. I don't know what that is. Is that Mark Ruffalo? I don't know. That's Buffalo. Different. <laughs> oh, Bob Dylan, don't look back. Okay, oh, this is the one with the footage of him and uh, Lennon in the car. That's cool. Um, Johnny Depp's Dead Man. I've never heard of that. Oh, yeah. That's a movie. Yeah, that's a movie. John Cassavetti's Faces. 
The Criterion Collection. This is like a, is this a big thing of like important film studies type stuff I, I should have watched seen in any film of studies school? All right. Sorry. King of Comedy, Robert De Niro and Jerry Lewis. Yeah, King of Comedy. Martin Scorsese. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's... Did Dave Snyder send these in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mean Streets! Whoa. That's a good Scorsese one. I like that. It's got a bunch of Stone songs in it. Cool. Let's see what the note says. Let's see what the theme is here. What's up, Dan? Hearing on the Bombcast that you've got a film degree, but a bunch of blind spots in your otherwise pretty good taste in movies. Figured I'd pass along some good ones that I thought you might not have seen yet, since I don't have much else to do with them after getting the Blu-rays. So, if you haven't heard of some of these, awesome! Thanks, duders. Matt. Oh, cool. And then he gives me a rundown of all the stuff that uh, he likes about each movie. Nice. Thank you so much, Matt. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. I've got some boxes. What, what you got? got? I don't know what any of these are. Yeah. Um, let's start, let's start with this one. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay. Jeff, Jeff, are you nice? Yeah. Uh, MP3s. Okay. <laughs> I hope it is a sick boombox. Oh man. God, I hope so. This is where we finally get into collecting old boomboxes. <laughs> yeah. God, also, I, I was just at Walgreens and I found that they make Starburst Juicy Fruit now. So if anybody Ooh. would like to try strawberry okay. Starburst Juicy Fruit. Okay, we got that going on. It's a way to yeah. It's Juicy Fruit gum, but it's also it's Starburst and it's strawberry. Yeah. Most of this. I went, I went first person with your hand in there. Orange. Is it in there? Yeah. The yep. There you go. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm a red. You I'm a red man. man. Yeah, red's, red's the best, then pink, then yellow, then orange. Well, orange is loud. Orange is the worst. Objectively. Crazy. Objectively the worst. Whoa. Uh oh. This is the Star Wars symbol and some Auerbesh writing. That's right. Totally. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm coming, coming back to that. Mm. What? Riveting television, I am sure. It's like Alex Bones Vault Race, but... Every yeah. time we do one of these. Oh, I see some nerdy stuff in there. We should start wearing Geraldo in to do mailbags. Yep. What is all this? Or just stuff? hang out. That's, that's the Star Wars. Geraldo stuff. That's got the Star it on Trek there. logo. You get nerds on our faces? Yeah, we them, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, God, what is all this? It's your UFP <laughs> command insignia and a costume. Oh, my oh. God. Are you serious? Jesus Christ. Oh my god! <laughs> I just realized what that was. Oh shit. Drew, this is a hell of a thing. That's a sweatshirt. That's pretty cool. That is an amazing sweatshirt. Brad would lose his mind, but he is sick today or something. Uh. Ah! Uh, Dan, I'm gonna ah! show you this bag. Oh lord. This is fucking cool. Oh my god. A gray fox. Oh my god. Put him over. I framed the other gray fox thing from that other mailbag. bag. I'm up there. I want to see it. Yeah, look at that. That's where he belongs. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Huh. Let's see. Is that a whoopee cushion? Oh no. This is some transformer thing. You know yeah. what that is, probably. This is, this is too late model for me. <laughs> I got some Master Chiefs. Like, I know how to turn regular Decepticon jets back into jets, but this thing is... Mm. You got Meryl Silverberg. Uh, Drew, people uh, mentioned that uh, you did not know this, but in the alternate ending of Metal Gear Solid 1, it is revealed that Meryl is not the Colonel's niece, it's his daughter. <gasps> really? Yes, she is Campbell's daughter. Wow. Real Campbell, not spooky robot Colonel. Well, who's robot Colonel's daughter? Um, um, it's just that guy from Reboot. Okay. Sick Star Wars hat. Nice. That. I feel like these things shouldn't It'd go together. NC-17 and something. <laughs> what? Yep. Oh, Gray Fox has a sword. Did someone get married and then have to get rid of a bunch of stuff fast? <laughs> Drew, look at this guy. Look at this cool dude. That is awesome. That's a solid cool snake. Let me see the cool dude. 
the SOCOM. Yeah. This face looks like crap. <laughs> He's been through a lot, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. He's made a break. He's got a stinger missile. Oh, his hands are or one of his fists. Huh. Yeah. That's going to take some work. Very uh, okay. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. Oh boy. All right. Yep. Yeah. See that? There's a little gas in this. I guess. Well, no, wait. Maybe. It... Oh. <laughs> it's just CO2 ah. cartridges. Great parts just lost. 5,000 BBs. Oh, God. Uh. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Yes. There's a Star Wars insignia on the back of it. That's awesome. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm drop the magazine on it. Look how cool that is. Look how cool I is. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm on my way, Dan, to being a Metal Gear villain. Getting there. Yeah. A, little, a little too subtle so far. Okay. Uh huh. Hmm. Yep. Those panties? I think they're flags. It's <coughs> a really weird noise for this to make. Like, it seems like it would be gas blowback, but. Is that the actual, like, is that an airsoft gun? Or yeah. Is that, yeah. Gloves. Some here. Another grip for you. The USB thing? key. There we go. Oh, weird. This is all very bizarre. Okay, so it's a CO2 powered. Wow. Yeah, that's what. Uh, those yeah, yeah, yeah. Are for. Yeah, so you just. What was this? Synchronous balance charger discharger. I have no idea. No idea what that is. Is it for. Things that have batteries that oh, maybe. build up memory. Huh. That don't that doesn't exist anymore. Or maybe never did. Knee pads, sweet. And then Is there a collapsible stock in there? Uh, I think that's just what the box was. Okay. Uh, where did the airsoft uh, pellets go? Uh, might as well make a mess. Yeah. Hey. Do you have to put I like I don't know how those guns work. Like is it Wow. <laughs> Okay. How much would it hurt if you shot me in the back with one of those? Probably not much. Let's test it. Okay. <laughs> that looks pretty cool, Drew. Thank you. Alright. What'd you get, Drew? Ahem. <coughs> All guns are always loaded. It's true. Never let the muzzle cover anything you are not willing to destroy. Absolutely. Keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target. Uh-huh. Be sure of your target and what is beyond it. Mm-hmm. Be aware of the audience around you yeah. and how easily they can freak out. Hi, Giant Bomb. Just in case you were already freaking out yourselves, I have not sent you an actual gun. Bummer. What I have sent you is an airsoft rifle. Yes. Oh, is there a rifle in there, too? I don't think so. I think you just... Yeah. Uh, and gear to go with it. I mean, there's a bunch of magazines in the front of that thing. That's true. That must go to a rifle. Maybe. Well, maybe. I got another one here. Um. Uh, ba ba. That's a long one. <laughs> um. Much love and beef. Adrian. Uh, aka Hyper Aqua Blast on the internet and Purple Rebel in the field of battle. You know what you're doing here, right, Jeff? Sure. Okay. What's going on over there? Putting in a fresh cartridge. Okay. I mean, if we're going to shoot Dan in the back. Yeah. Is this how Bruce Lee's kid died when they were yeah. making that dumb movie? Yep. Yeah? Okay, I don't want to die. That's going to take a little bit. Okay. I gotta... uh, <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to open this other box. Jesus. This is an in-depth mailbag we got it's here. It's heavy, also. I like your Starfleet thing. This one's for you. What is this? 
Okay, primary one message from Starfleet Command. Dan, this is Admiral Hi Hyper Aqua Blast at Starfleet Historical Headquarters. This is long, I'll try to give the rundown as I read it. Uh, he's at the Starfleet place, they're getting reports from a quadrant that uh, people are losing memory of the Enterprise. Uh, okay, I'm Commander Dan Riker and I have to get to the bottom of it. I've been tasked to observe the records related to the major missions of the Enterprise NCC something. During the Genesis device incident at the Battle of Kitomer. Kitomer. Okay. Uh, the individual missions of the Enterprise, something, something, something. Engaging, holy, holy. lord. Eng engaging the Borg, because yeah, it's a cool guy action movie. Something Vulcans. Okay. I have to be in uniform if I'm going to make visual logs of what I find. So I think he's saying i got to wear that thing if I'm going to watch Star Trek and talk about it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that seems to check out. Seems all right, thanks, Hyper Aqua Blast. Are you gonna shoot me? Sure. Okay, I'll get over here. Guys? All right, oh, okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Go for here. Okay, okay. yeah. Uh, Jason, you might wanna move. Uh, yeah. Duck. Whoop. Hold on. Ah, damn, that's a, oh, <laughs> shit! That <laughs> does hurt. I thought I had, since I had two t-shirts on, that would absorb it more. Never point the weapon at something you aren't to, uh, ready to destroy. Shit. Uh, ah. Okay. That <laughs> God damn. Yeah, don't get shot with an airsoft gun if you can help it. Packs a goddamn punch. Good lord. <laughs> that is... Oh my. That is all metal. That is not a... pull the trigger? Uh, there's no. nothing to, well, there's no magazine. Didn't you read no. or hear the instructions? I know. That's why I asked. Safety. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude. <coughs> Thank you, Adrian. You're insane. <laughs> why, would, why would you give this? This Classical is... stock, foregrip. This is great stuff. This is all great stuff. I like this. I might have to start watching Star Trek now. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> what? Oh, there's... <laughs> I didn't expect ah. that. That actually completely worked. What the hell? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is there gas in there already? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, this one might be electric. I'm not sure. Oh, well, maybe that's why I got this charger thing. Yep. Yeah, that's probably actually exactly what it is. Wow. I'm ready. I press this and it does my Bluetooth thing or something. <laughs> Captain's love. Jeff, this Joker did this, so when I put it on, it, it makes this thing dangle down and scare me, and it worked. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, it yeah. fell right in front of my face and nice. scared me. Nice. That was a good move. Laser pointer. Or, uh, laser oh, really? On it. Holy shit. It's not quite so. Yeah, no, that's pretty. The beat unchecked, I can see it. Yeah, wow. Holy so crap. So this thing's semi auto or full? Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> this is an actual. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. This is like an, a real red dot side here. Really? Is there an on button? Yep. Really? Yep. Wow. Jason, see if you can see the red dot through there. Is that possible? We are out of you juice. Just, by there's the a way. reticle. You're out of camera juice? Yep. I don't know if you can see that, but. Trying to. I got a whole. I got a, four more boxes of stuff over there. Oh, yeah, All right. I got it. We'll grab another battery and we'll come right back. Dan, we're back and charged. I've got another box. Drew. <clears throat> Here is the box of games I said I'd send out at PAX South. Yes. Uh, many of these I've either stopped playing due to other games or uh, my game group has multiple copies. Here's the rundown of what's in the box. Um, we'll, go, we'll go through the box first. How about that? Kittens. Whoa. In a blender. I don't, I that don't, sounds is, fun. Is that a card game? Sure. There, yeah, these cards. Cards against kittens. Dragon Slayer, the dice game with a twist. There are dragons. <laughs> uh, Back to the Future, the card game. Oh. I like the sound of that. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Zombie Flux. That's fun. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Jason endorsement. Get bit. Mm -hmm. Sounds like something Yosuke would say. Mm -hmm. Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards. Duel at Mount Sc 
skulls fire. It's cards. It's a bunch of cards of kittens and blenders in this uh, kittens in a blender box. Weird. Let's see. The blenders with the kittens. Yep. Yep. And finally, Kingsburg. Holy cow, look at that. That looks like something that's fun to read the manual for. Yeah. Uh, apparently the best group game is uh, Battle Wizards. Best game <coughs> is Kingsburg. Best light game is Get Bit. Best movie-related time-altering game, Back to the Future. Uh, An honorable mention, Zombie Flux, Dragon Slayer, Kittens in a Blender. Hope you enjoy. Love seeing tabletop, tabletop content on Giant Bomb. Love, Spencer. Mm. Thanks, Spencer. Well, we got a... Uh, Giant Bomb unplugged this week, so we could always use some more Is fodder D &D for that. Is technically a board game? I really don't know anything about D&D, &D, though. That's why they call That's them right. all tabletop games now, because everyone wanted to get all highfalutin about it. It's like, well, it's a card game, and there's dice, but board. there's... Yeah, so it's all... From what I understand, do you get the kayfabe in D&D? &D? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is okay. you're, you're playing a character. Do I have to be some like mystical wizard thing or something, or can I just be like a... I can be anything. Could I be a Terminator? No, no. You could be a mystical wizard called the Terminator. No, but I mean, could I be a robot, or could I be like? I mean, Rick depending Flair? on what your dungeon master allows, you could be a wizard that maybe just has some permanent illusion spell cast on him that makes him look like a Terminator. Or Rick, I want or the Rick actual Flair. abilities, though. I want to make like sword arms and stuff. Is Ric Flair a wizard? He might as well be. Okay, he's got the cape. He got the robe for it. Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking well, forward to seeing what the hell this is all about. I'm either going I mean, to you really could, love you it or could really... could roleplay it as a, yes, as what if Ric Flair was uh, sent back in time to... Okay. That would probably make anyone playing with you, if they were into Dungeons & Dragons, fucking hate you. That's probably going to happen anyway. Because <laughs> I'm not going to yeah. know what I'm doing, yeah. Yeah. and I'm going to be confused, but... It's not that hard. You just really? roll the dice, and then you just say, like, I don't know, I want to hit the orc. Okay. And then you roll the dice and it tells you if you hit the orc or not. Okay. All right. We'll see. Thanks, everyone. I got more stuff over here. here. Jeff's got more things. We're just passing the knife around here. Uh, pass the knife, a card game? Yes, pass the knife is uh, a tabletop game, please. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. I really like this one. I'm just going to sure. I don't wear this shirt a lot. That is pretty cool. Okay, this one uh, is from Northfield, New Hampshire, from the looks of it. Let's see what the note says. Uh, Jeff, I heard you and Dan mention this game recently. I made one for myself last <coughs> summer, so I threw together another one for you guys. The parts aren't expensive, it just takes a long while to solder all the wires. I have no idea if it will work in the Retron 5. You might need a real SNES. Enjoy, Josh. What? What is it? I don't know. You have to find out. What did we talk about that you'd have to solder? What the fuck? <laughs> this, is how, this is how the day Mario cried started, I think. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what that says. Guys, look alive. Two. The commander's here. Carry on. Okay. Sir, we have a... Stand easy. Mm -hmm. Unidentified. You should probably destroy it. Okay. What is it? That's a great question. Okay. <laughs> we should just put it in there, then. We should totally try to do that. Mm -hmm. What They said we talked about it? I mean, it looks like he would have desoldered... Yeah. Wow. Soldering existing involves SNES, like DK. Soldering involves sparks, right? No. No. Yeah. Heat. That's just the, the little, like, the tiny blowtorch thing? Where you it's not a blowtorch, it's like a really hot uh, screwdriver. And you just oh. touch it and the metal melts. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. Let's try it. Not right now, but. I bet it won't work in a Retron. No. So we might need a real, we might, I, we may actually need a real SNES. Probably actually, well, I mean, if this is an actual car. <laughs> I'm really intrigued by Can this. We, can we just go? Let's go. Yeah. Do you need your help? Alright. I'm going to not carry this gun through the office. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Do we have a. Are we going to try the Retron? Yeah, we'll have to try the Retron. We don't have a, we don't have a snap here.
moreover, we don't have SNES controllers you here can either. Take it for a minute? Yeah. We can at least yeah. launch the game. I know what the hell it is. Okay. Jeff, what do you think of the Retron? It sort of sucks. I don't know. There's, there are nice things about it, convenience-wise, and I think that they, uh, that they've done some interesting stuff with how they have put it together. But at the same time, like you know, just enough things like the music doesn't work right, or just this other weird shit going on. We may have solved the music thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What was going on? Uh, the way that the HDMI interacts with our capture gear. Oh. So we split it out before we captured the audio. Oh, weird. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and I guess I'll try to launch this with an NES controller, which means we probably wouldn't be able to play it, but... Yeah, can you use, like, a Genesis controller with a Super Nintendo game? Yeah, you can. Technically? Okay. <coughs> Does this have power? This is Star Fox 2. No shit! This is Star Fox. Oh shit! Wow! Huh. This is weird. I've only seen screenshots of this. Yeah, it's been it's been around for years. Oh man. <laughs> you guys want to do a proper video with it or? <laughs> Probably should at some point. Mm. Or UPF? I don't know. I mean, like, I, I'm maybe sort curious. of. It's like kind of illegal that it exists out oh. there, so it's <laughs> sort of weird. It's even weirder that this thing was placed onto a proper cartridge, <laughs> which somehow makes it. This is like a real ass game. I mean, it was it was pretty far along. Like, or I think I, I, I don't remember. That's Andros. This is way more complete looking than I expected. It's not going to be even possible to play it with this controller. <laughs> you could pick what? Who are those? Uh, who are the last two? Is that Star Fox's girlfriend and the little poodle? Me, you, and who the fuck is Faye? Big <laughs> cat. He plays everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! They're different. Was uh, this two player? No. Okay, I didn't know if like, one person could be Fox and the other could be Fox. I, well, I don't think so. I, I didn't see the option. Wow. Oh, shit. So are you sending out the second guy or am I going to mission you? No, I think it's like a it's like a uh, uh, wingman sort of situation. So he's second guy, it's like an AI controlled pilot think, with you. Think, yeah. So. Oh, I don't know, it's, it's been a really long time since I've even that I since I thought about or seen this thing. But. Star Wolf and uh, his buddy were in the Super Nintendo. So this is technically I think the first time. I don't remember anything about Star Fox lore other than <laughs> barrel rolls seemed important. <laughs> Anyway. Pigmo is a dick. Holy shit. That's pretty crazy. That's really cool. Yeah, a like a built cartridge for Star Fox 2 is pretty funny. Wow. Alright, well yeah, thanks for that thing. It's crazy. <laughs> I got like three more boxes. Thanks. I'll be your follow guy. <laughs>
All right, what we got here? This is this package is Cajun style. That was not the right way to cut stuff. Don't do this. Good job. Don't point the knife at anything you aren't intending, you aren't prepared to destroy. That's just good. That's good. Knives are just cool, it's like whatever? Yeah, it is. Okay. The many ways to use these delicious pickles. There's no delicious way to use a pickle. Really? Pickles also? Pickles are, I've tried like what? one pickle once and it was fun. I'm with Whatever. you, man. Pickles are fucking disgusting. Super gross. Nope. There. So you say no, as in you like it or you don't? I don't. I, don't, I can't eat pickles. No, he was saying no, but I don't know if he means I don't like the smell of pickles. I love them. Oh, really? Oh, yes. That's disgusting. Yes. Yes. Well, there you go. Hey! What are the delicious ways in which I should and there you go. consume these? <laughs> Alright, see it. And some... Mm. Magic swamp dust. Ooh. Oh. Last time I bought some magic swamp dust, I wasn't heard from for about three weeks. It's got an alligator with a t-shirt on it. Can be used on anything from grits and eggs to surf and turf. Garlic. Yeah, onion. Something like a nice little S&T. Right, I like those flavors. Help. Yeah, so those are gator pickles. And uh, some recipes including Mardi Gras dip, <clears throat> Cajun crackers and creamy dipping sauce, chicken salad, deviled eggs, deviled cheese toast, fried pickles with creamy ranch. I imagine you fry the pickles and then put ranch dressing on them. Ugh. Sounds good. Half of that was good. Cajun cream cheese dip. So it looks Cajun like these were bruschetta. made with that magic dust. Oh. Oh. That's a good sign. <laughs> okay, you stepped back. That smells like a pickle. Yeah, it does. There's all kinds of like cool Cajun -y seasoning and stuff though. Look at that. Are you ready? Oh. Mmm. Look like at a sweet pickle. Manager, a little bit of kick. My manager at Funko Land back in high school used to give me money to go pick oh, up his McDonald's every day. Yeah. Every time it was a number two meal with extra pickles. So it was two burgers with extra pickles and oh. it stink the shit out of my car every fucking day. This is really good. Here's some magic swamp dust and some recipes for how to use your pickles. I'm glad I came into work today. Bleh. All right, see you guys. We got guns and knives and Skinner shirts and cool stuff. And Star Fox. Hey, Gator. <laughs> Air Force Gator have a Cajun accent? Uh, no. Okay. No, he sounds like kind of like Bruce Willis or Bill Paxton or something. Okay. Yeah. Or Troy Baker. Yeah. Yeah. Mar 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 Brando. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. This one's uh. Came out of a UPS store in North Carolina. Seriously, just a little bit. No! Just a little bit. It looks disgusting. That's like half a pickle. Have you had uh, a pickle chick? Have you had chick. pickles before? I think I've eaten one pickle once and it was fucking gross. And the smell is gross to me. Does this smell gross? Yes! Ah, I hate that. That's good. It's fucking disgusting. Everyone big on the boxes inside boxes at <laughs> this time. So. We need, really need to have a cleaning day around here. Yeah. I should film that. <laughs> just set up a live stream and just be like, bonus podcast while we straighten up or something. Big note. I recently finished up school at UNC Charlotte and I'm headed to Minneapolis for an internship at Game Informer nice. to cover the last credit I need to graduate. I should be there already by the time you get this. Uh, I was a little bummed to hear about Dan and Jason leaving a short while before I applied, but I'm a big That's fan us. of Giant Bomb, so I figured I'd send some stuff your way. Uh, okay. Right. Who's this dude? What's his name? Oh, this is from John. John. <coughs> Congrats on the internship, John. Yeah. You gonna dig it there? Stay warm? It's the wrong semester to stay warm there. Single deckers. Not double deckers. Not the doubles. So Put two on top of each other. Yeah. Got uh, Pyongyang, a journey in North Korea. Wonderful. Oh, wow. The complete, the complete uh, Persepolis. Are these Drew things? This is now a major motion picture. <laughs> now. I don't know what that is. It's supposed to be a PlayStation game. Oh, I've played that. That's the uh, PlayStation 1 Judge Dredd game. That is a rough game. 
lost the knife. You have 400 knives here, don't you? Next, they're all blocked in. It's a hassle to even get to them. They don't all say green on it. Yeah. True. Oh. Yeah, I just lost the knife. And then you just put left over here. Load your light gun and lay down the law. Ugh. Oh boy. A uh, diet cheer wine. Mm, cheer wine. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is that a Minnesota thing? I don't know. No, I don't think so. it, well, the, uh, it. I think there's some stuff he's sending out of North Carolina kind of before he departs. So, yeah, some, oh. some more cheer wine. Cheer wine. Some cheer wine. Full flavored cheer wine? Yeah. Full bodied. And it has alcohol in it? No. Cheer wine. That's like a brand of soda. Yeah, it's a soda. And some diet cheer wine. Some cheer wine. Thanks, John. Yeah. Stuff. It's a lot of. This is well wrapped. We still have the the last one that exploded, kind of over there. Oh, the soda shack stuff. Yeah. yeah. We kind of need to. A little more book in there. Was there? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Palestine. Wow. The book. All right. Like Praise for Joe life. Sacco's Palestine. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cow. Huh? Okay. It's quite good. Hmm. All right. Cool. Thanks, John. And then, uh, last one here. No, seriously, where did I put the so beverages? Where did I put the blade? I don't know. I didn't find it over there. I looked. And I had it to so open these other ones, and then I. Jason's got some crazy thing over here. What's this? Just knife type thing? Oh, yeah. We can use the uh, leather. I mean, should I burn it open with the laser instead? Yes. Yes. Where's the air stuff? I can shoot it open. You can use a laser. <laughs> I'm fishing here. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This seems like a bad idea. You should put your coat glasses on. I probably should, huh? Yeah. I don't this is probably a bad idea. Drew, don't look at this. You're already wearing glasses, it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna move flammable things. <coughs> okay. <coughs> We're gonna need full power if we want to do any damage to this box. So that's medium, and that's full. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, trying to look at it. That is bright as hell. I don't think it's gonna actually do anything to this tape. But if I do it over here in the box. Yeah. I'm gonna get through. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, all right, that's enough of the laser. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shouldn't have bought this. I should not have bought the they were going out of business, or they couldn't sell it. Yeah, they, they had some kind of thing where it was like forty percent off or something, so it was a deal. But like, yeah, where, yeah. what am I going to do with it? It's, I'm scared of this fucking thing. <laughs> it's like enter a code to turn it on, don't you? Yeah, it's. Oh boy. Is the I yeah, if you have one, I'd, that'd be easier than me digging past these other boxes to get into where the the knife stash is. It smells good. Burn cardboard. Yeah, nice little burn cardboard smell. Burning leaves is the best. You, you guys do that here in California? No. No? Burning leaves. Is, that's a real good smell. That's a real good smell? Yeah, yeah. It's the nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right to Halloween. Right. Okay. Okay. Recently took a trip down to my parents' home country of Trinidad. It closes a random assortment of beverages, most of which are produced locally on the island. At least one of the Carib beers is meant for Jeff's, as is personally one of my favorite yellowy, non-hoppy, beer-tasting beers. Uh, the rest is for anyone else who wants to enjoy. Uh, that's from Kevin. Or Kevin Camera Guy on the site. Thanks, Kevin. What are we... Oh, Trinidad. Yeah, it's a new one. Where is that geographical? Down uh, Central America? It's near Tobago. Yeah. Okay. Where is that in relation to the island from the Lost World? That's where I based the entire part. Uh, that's off uh, the coast of Costa Rica. Is it Lanublar? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. 
That's some cool. pear. Pear. Pears good. It's always pear. Pears are good. Pears aren't good. Pears are great. Pears are great. Lemon, pickles. lime, and bitter. That I, sounds good. I agree with me that pears are better than pickles. Pears are better than pickles. There we go. All right, we agree. All right, we got racks and racks and racks of sodas here. And that went off. Yeah, give that one to Dan. You can open it. Yeah. Double. Yeah. Double opening. Yeah. And, uh, Jason, you want to try your hand at this one? Yeah. Oh, these are Bart individually hand. sealed. Yeah. Wow. This guy knows how to wrap a beverage. Yeah, we, these are some well wrapped beverages, uh, for sure. Oh, we got the uh, Raptor sparkling energy drink. Raptor. Served Raptor. <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty good. That's a good name. Yeah. I got Shandy Carib Sorrel. It's lager beer and sorrel mixed together. Ooh. Diet okay. ginger beer. Wait, is this one? Oh. Not more than 1.2 alcohol per volume, so I'm gonna get fucked up. You got this. I got a beer from the Carib called Carib Lager. 5.2. Okay, that's real beer. Alcohol. Yeah, real ass beer. I got apple juice. The Carib. Apple J. Solo. Yeah. Awesome. This is still kind of chilly, too. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks, Kevin. Sure you're open. Yeah. <laughs> Crack it open. Go to town. After I traveled, traveled here from Trinidad. Yep. Oh, good That's Lord. gonna happen. Woo! Woo! <sighs> That's good. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm sick. I should probably not do that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sick. All right. Yeah. I, I just have viruses. I don't think that's contagious, right? Mm. <laughs> uh, you lied when you said it was chilly, but... Yeah. That's not, yeah, not a bad Chilled. Beer. Yeah, cool. Well, that was uh, that's all I got. Yeah, this is. I got shot. We played Star Fox too. Right, I ate gator pickles, and I'm getting drunk. Let's set up all these. <laughs> let's set up all these cans and shoot them with the gun. Oh fuck yeah! All right, cool. See you, everybody. Thanks, guys.